H2 receptor antagonists, or H2 blockers, are antihistamine agents that reduce gastric acid secretion. By reducing acid production, these drugs are particularly useful in treating heartburn, ulcers, and other acid-mediated disorders. In this visual mnemonic, let's learn enough about H2 blockers so that you won't need one before your exam. Ah, uh, college. The time when kids do stupid things. Like, how weird would it be if we partied in a cemetery? Yep, take a look at those two college boys throwing a party here. Like typical college boys, these guys are playing a drinking game of horseshoes. But since they're so drunk, one guy has misthrown his horseshoe, which happened to ricochet and hit his buddy. By the way, a horseshoe is our recurring symbol for the H2 histamine receptor. Get it? Horseshoe for H2? It's the H2 horseshoe. And this misthrown horseshoe should remind you that we are talking about H2 blockers in this video. The drug class works by inhibiting or blocking the effects of histamine binding to H2 receptors. We'll get into the clinical details later, but before that, let's introduce the drug names that you need to remember. Remember our setting? Yep, these college kids thought it'd be pretty novel to play horseshoes in a spooky cemetery. By the way, the cemetery here is our cue for cemetidine, the first drug that we'll be covering in this video, since cemetidine sounds like cemetery, right? As you can see, they are in front of a large mausoleum that appears to be open for rent. This rental banner will help us remember the drug name renitidine. Get it? Rent for renitidine? Renitidine is the second H2 blocking drug that we'll be talking about in this scene. Renitidine was very commonly used as its potency was nearly eightfold of clomididine with a much longer duration of action. However, this drug has recently been recalled or taken off the market by the FDA for safety reasons, so it's probably less likely to show up on your exam. In any case, remember this rent sign for renitidine, okay? Finally, let's look at the other guests here. Today, we are with a bereaved family in a cemetery. A mother has brought her kids to the family plot to celebrate the memory of their loved one when the setting was ruined by these rowdy college boys. By the way, this family here should remind you of the drug name famotidine, the third and final H2 blocking drug we'll cover. Family for famotidine. Got it? All right, now that we know the names and mechanism of this drug, let's talk about how the H2 blocking drugs actually help in a clinical setting. Take a look at how the misthrown horseshoe has ripped a hole right through the belly area of this college boy's shirt. This hole in the shirt near the belly reminds me of stomach ulcers since ulcers are basically holes in the stomach lining, right? This picture should help you remember that H2 blocking drugs like cimetidine are used to treat peptic ulcers. Let me explain exactly how this works. You see, signaling by H2 receptors is normally responsible for increasing acid production by parietal cells in the stomach. Therefore, blocking H2 receptors inhibits acid secretion. Since acid-mediated damage is a big part of the pathophysiology of ulcers, blocking acid production can help treat peptic ulcers. H2 blockers like ranitidine are useful for treating run-of-the-mill stomach ulcers, but also for treating secondary causes of ulcers like Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, NSAID use, and even H. pylori infection. The rationale behind this is pretty obvious. Excess stomach acid secretion continues to damage the stomach lining and prevents healing. For our next clinical use, let's keep looking at our guy in the Hawaiian shirt. After getting hit in the belly with that horseshoe, it seems that the beer he was drinking has spurred out of his mouth. <sniffs> By the way, this liquid spurting out of his mouth reminds me of acid reflux. You know, since acid reflux is just stomach acid and the contents of the stomach being pushed back up through the esophagus. H2 blockers are useful for treating acid reflux, more formally called GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. H2 blockers are helpful here for the same mechanism as above. Their inhibition of H2 signaling reduces acid production, which obviously prevents acid-mediated damage by way of acid reflux. Look, H2 blockers reduce stomach acid production. From that, it should be pretty easy to rationalize its clinical uses. Now, let's talk about the adverse effects of taking H2 blockers. Specifically, notice the beer bong in that college boy's hand? By the way, this beer bong is here to help you remember sip enzyme inhibition. You know, since beer bongs don't allow you to sip slowly, kind of like inhibiting sips, if you know what I mean. Specifically, cimetidine has been implicated as a drug that inhibits sip or cytochrome P450 enzymes. Since these enzymes are responsible for metabolizing many drugs in the body, 
This means that cimetidine can lead to many drug interactions. The drugs metabolized by CYP enzymes that exam writers love to give you include warfarin and theophylline. Interactions with cimetidine can lead to massive changes in drug levels, which will lead to side effects like bleeding. If you see a patient on cimetidine in a vignette, be sure to look for drug interactions, okay? Next, did you notice the coconut bra our other college kid was wearing? Yep, just more run-of-the-mill shenanigans from our neighbors at the frat house. By the way, this coconut bra on a guy should remind you that cimetidine can lead to gynecomastia. Specifically, cimetidine can lead to anti-androgenic effects, causing symptoms like gynecomastia or male breast development, galactorrhea or milk production, impotence, and decreased libido. Just remember this coconut bra to look for gynecomastia with cimetidine use. And that's it for our scene on H2 blockers. Let's do a quick recap and get out of this depressing cemetery, shall we? H2 receptor blockers, or H2 antagonists, are drugs that block the action of histamine at H2 receptors in the stomach. This drug class includes cimetidine, ranitidine, and famotidine. Blocking histamine at H2 receptors notably decreases stomach acid production, which can be used to treat acid-mediated disorders like peptic ulcer disease and gastroesophageal reflux disease. Importantly, the drug cimetidine has a few notable side effects. Cimetidine is a powerful CYP enzyme inhibitor that can lead to various drug interactions. Cimetidine also has anti-androgenic effects, which can lead to gynecomastia. All right, we're all done with H2 blockers. I hope you learned something. To always say no to parties and cemeteries. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.